Have you ever wondered how global events and economic uncertainties can impact the trajectory of Bitcoin? Well, Arthur Hayes, the former CEO of BitMEX, recently shared his viewpoint on a tendency his most recent BitMEX. In his thought-provoking blog post titled The Periphery, uh, Hayes sheds light on the potential future that Bitcoin is hinting at. But before we dive into that, let's set the stage with some context. Uh, we find ourselves in a world grappling with heightened geopolitical tensions uh, and economic uncertainties. It's a time when every move by major powers can send shockwaves through the global economy. And that's where Hayes comes in. Uh, uh, he emphasizes the geopolitical risks posed by the United States, our growing involvement in two new wars. Uh, according to him, these escalations could have vast implications for the global economy. But what does this have to do with Bitcoin? Um, uh, Hayes connects the dots by pointing out the, the notable halt in interest rate hikes by the United States Federal Reserve uh, despite looming inflation. Uh, he sees this as a possible uh, where uh, a long-term interest rate faster than short-term rates. And so what's going on with um, uh, faster than four or five million in 2013. Um, but here's where it gets really interesting. Hayes delves into the intricate relationship between banks' structural hedging needs and the borrowing necessities of the U.S. war machine, both intertwined in the U.S. Treasury market. Uh, if long-term U.S. Treasury bonds don't offer the security investors traditionally expect, where will their money flow? Uh, uh, Hayes postulates say assets like gold, and more importantly, Bitcoin would surge due to genuine fears of global wartime inflation. In other words, if traditional investments lose their appeal, people may turn to alternative stores of value, like Bitcoin. Now let's shift our focus to how Bitcoin is responding to these geopolitical instabilities. Now Hayes notes that both gold and Bitcoin are experiencing upward momentum while there's a pronounced sell-off in long-end U.S. Treasuries. This movement isn't merely a speculative response to potential spot exchange traded fund approvals. It's a barometer indicating an imminent inflationary... Um, but here's the kicker. Um, Hayes suggests that there may come a time when the Federal Reserve can no longer mask the true nature of the U.S. Treasury market. Instead of portraying it as a free market, it would reveal its genuine form, a Potemkin village, where interest levels are set based on political convenience. According to Hayes, this revelation would be a pivotal moment propelling Bitcoin in the broader crypto 